Wow! Rosie's flower shop has so many beautiful flowers. I have an idea. Let us learn about the multiplication properties at Rosie's flower shop. There are three multiplication properties. They are Property 1 Order property of multiplication Let us take an example in Rosie's shop and check this property. Look here. There are four baskets. Each basket contains six flowers. How many flowers are there altogether? Four into six is equal to twenty-four. So, there are twenty-four flowers. But look here. There are six baskets and each basket contains four flowers. So, how many flowers are there altogether? Six into four is equal to twenty-four. There too are twenty-four flowers in all. So, we see that four into six is equal to twenty-four and six into four is also equal to twenty-four. Thus, we know that even after changing the order of the factors, the product does not change. This property is also called commutative property. Property 2 Zero property of multiplication Look, there are five flower baskets. There are zero flowers in each basket. How many flowers are there altogether? Here, there are five baskets, but there are no flowers in each. That is, there are zero flowers in each. So, 5 into 0 is equal to 0. Thus, we say that if 0 is multiplied to any number, the product is always 0. Property 3 When 1 is multiplied to any number, the product is always the number itself. Look, there are four flower baskets here. Each basket contains one flower in it. How many flowers are there altogether? Here, there are four baskets and one flower in each. Now, 4 into 1 is equal to 4. So, here we multiplied the number 4 by 1 and we got the answer as 4. That is the number itself. Hmm, I liked learning the multiplication properties at Rosie's flower shop. Didn't you?